Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this one, we're in Illustrator 2022. It just launched a couple days ago, and I want to show you a brand new window or a brand new panel. Let's take a look. Head up here to Window, and when you drop it down, you're going to see 3D and Materials. Heck yeah, and you'll see here that I've got some shapes here, and well, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that I made these using this new panel. So I'm just going to delete all this stuff. And we're going to start from scratch. Let's go ahead and just grab a, I don't know, let's grab a rectangle and let's start creating a tool. But this time we have the 3D and materials uh, window open. Just going to drag out a simple little rectangle. And presto, what you're going to see here under object is we've got a few new options here, including things like plane, extrude, revolve, and inflate. Inflate as in, uh, you know, blow it up, kind of like. A balloon or my girlfriend <laughs> just kidding she's not inflatable um, anyways uh, jokes aside guys yeah we've got all these different options so I'm just gonna go through them real quick here I'm gonna left click on plane not a whole lot going on here but let's take a look at extrude extrude is a good one because when I pop the depth up you're gonna see now that obviously we've got sort of like a three-dimensional rectangle and if you go in you can start making some crazy changes to it uh, I've increased the depth. I can go in here if I want to add a bevel, although it does look a little funny. Uh, you can go ahead and change the width of the bevel. Hey, that looks pretty cool. It looks like a nose. Um, but just a heads up, yeah, you can do all kinds of cool things now inside 3D and materials, including bevel inside if you want to make like a drawer. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, no, there's a lot of different options. Also, you can rotate on the X, Y, and Z axis. And you can do that by just clicking on the um, selection tool and making changes like here. So I can just move it around and, you know, I can switch it up and down and stuff like that. Things that you should already probably know unless you're new to Adobe Illustrator, then welcome aboard. And of course, you can make changes to change the shape. So you can sort of pull in the edges and give it a more rounded shape and things like that. So there are a whole bunch of different options now available in 3D and materials. I won't go through all of them because you guys can go ahead and do that yourselves, but I'm just going to make a couple of changes. Oh, well, I got you. Yeah, that one takes a little while because, uh, yeah, I got big brass, big brass ones. You know what I'm talking about? Big swing and brass cylinders. Uh, but jokes aside, yes, you can go in and do a whole bunch of different things. Now, I will make another shape here while I got you. I'm just going to click outside of that one. Let's go ahead and make a, uh, let's make a little circle type thing, and I'll make that. And then we're going to use the other one here. I'm going to show you the inflate option. You just left click on inflate and presto, you've got a 3D inflation, including the lighting and everything that goes with it. Again, you can make minor adjustments to it. Uh, this doesn't do the whole hell of a lot. But uh, again, yeah, you can change these things, do your rotations, etc. Change the different materials if you want to, change the lighting. And all of this now is inside 3D and materials. Also, I will make a quick note here that you can go ahead and switch on ray tracing. And if you render with ray tracing, it will give you a bit of a higher res, a little bit of a more, a better fidelity in your final product. And I will also let you know that under the quality, you can go low, medium, or high. So if you want really, really good, really good look, you can go with a high resolution ray trace and then hit render. And it will render out a nice, sweet looking set of stuff. So guys, that is the new 3D and Materials window. It's great. It's inside Adobe Illustrator 2022. Thank you for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.